Very good. Welcome back to another episode of Upbuild. Brilliant. So we're going to carry on with on our classic Mini Mark 1 conversion. And so we're going to sort of carry on from where we left off on the last one. And we're sitting this Mark 1 door on the Mark 4 shell. And we're going to work on the A pillar now, fabricating this this inner A pillar down here. Which is quite a bit of work in there to do. So, like I say, oops, we'll, we'll crack on with that now. There we go, so that's that little area just cleaned off and tied in here. And then uh, we'll have the air panel to sit on the front of that. Which will sit on like that. So we'll have a little area just to weld in there as well. So that just ties that back part of the, the air pillar in. And then we'll have the, the rest of the air pillar to come in around the other side. We've got this jam panel, which will also go on the front there start to make up our A pillar. Um, so it looks, I mean you're looking at it just raw steel in there at the minute, that little section that we've repaired, put a bit of paint on it, it just ties it into the A pillar. And then all that old section in there, they'll get cut out. And then this bit gets welded in there, and then obviously the, the outer A panel comes around and goes onto the front of this panel as well. So you'll see a bit more of it once we're um, up, to that, up to that point. Finally stopped raining, so we've got ourselves outside. So as you can see what I've done is just put the door on and um, it shows that little area where we'll put the um, outer air panel on and um, just wait see it needs tying in now into the, the air pillar. So the inside of that's all strengthened up as I was showing earlier. And now you can see the little gap which I have to work with. So we'll tie that in once um, we we'll finish off um, the whole of the air pillar. And there's a little bit of panel beating in this top corner just to sort of free or to shape that gap up. But, um, so I'm going to take the door off now and then um, start working in that A pillar and fabricating the inside of that A pillar. So crack on with crack on with that now. Right, there we go. So, let's quickly pull that uh, sill off and then um, now I can get into this old uh, section of the, the A pillar where I had the inner hinges for the uh, Mark IV. So I'm going to work around cutting that out now from up here. Cut it out from this section and work my way down. Um, I'll leave this brace in the back that we've got in so that it's um, a point from where I can mark off for the, or where I can work off from the inside the closing panel, um, which is this panel in the back. Um, so we'll get this old, uh, old piece of the pillar cut out. I'm not sure how that looks.
Right then, there we go. So that's all that uh, eight pillar out. The old one. So a little bit of tidying up to do. Um, obviously I've got my little point here where I'm going to come up to with the closing panel at the other side of it. And so... Um, where's my panel? There we go. So basically that one's going to sit in there like that. And then we've got the outside air panel, which hold on a second. There we go, right. So we've got uh, that door jam panel to go on the front. And then the outer air exit panel. Obviously with a bit of trimming. And that should go somewhere like that. And then we'll have this closing panel on the inside, down that inside there, which will come up to this point here and close off from the, the dash like that. So carry on with that. Right, so I've just I've had the door back on just trying to make sure since all that's cleaned out and everything that the door fits still in the same place, just place to keep trying it just to make sure nothing's moved too much. Um, so we're just gonna light put the, the panels on and work out where to cut the doorstep now to line up with the A pillar. So we'll get this on. Did you have on there, Dad? Let's sit the apple on with a couple of bolts. There we go, right. So I've just trimmed that edge, trimmed a little bit off because it was sitting a little bit too proud to sit in the back of here. So. Um, and I measured the other side for where the um, the um, switch light goes on. So I know that wants to be um, level with me mark on the and I've already made that mark on the little mark on the apron. And so we'll do is just get my dad just to hold that step up tight against the apron a little bit. That's where step sitting at the right height on my mark on the back there. Got the ear panel in the right place. Step sitting up tight against the ear pillar. Got me um, switch light just level with me mark on my ear panel there, which I've made. So I know that's the right height for the switch. Got that panel in the right place. Let me describe the bottom of that. Down there like that. That's great. Now I'll take that off. Um, cut the, the step and then weld the uh, door jam panel to the top of the step and then that'll be all one panel end just so it's a bit easier to work with then when you know, we've got the height set lift that in so we'll take that back apart do that now and, put that and weld that together right then so the next bit is to close this um, a pillar in with the closing panel in the back there. It's hard to see because of the broad bracing, but that's the, the front of the A pillar, and then we need to close it in up to the bulkhead with that area just in there. So it's the same as the opposite side. So we'll see that closing panel that runs down the side of that dash rail. And so we've got a template which we used on that side, um, which obviously we can just reverse and that'll slot down this side like that. Um, so you can see that's that little closing panel we'll make now for it to fit in the back of there and then that dash wheel push up tight against it. So pulls across as well. So we'll get that little template made, get the closing panel fitted in there. The next bit. We're back inside a bit because it's all rain again out there, so carry on anyway.
brilliant. Right, so we're still in sight. It's pouring rain outside still. Hopefully, looks like the sun's getting out. Might get a bit, a bit drier soon. So I've got that panel. I was bending it in the, um, you know, a little cheap metal bender, but it's 1.5 mil, so it's a bit thick for that. So you sort of just spring out there. But what I'll do is I'll just use the the vise and just sharpen that edge up a little bit in the vise, and that'll uh, that'll work quite well. And we'll fit, start fitting that in. But uh, just a quick mention, I wanted to say thanks to everyone who, who's uh, bought our merch, our cups and t-shirts and hoodies and what have you. Uh, really appreciate that, it really uh, helps doesn't it with the, the building, that really, anything we make just goes towards the, the mini. So we have uh, we've, uh, really appreciate anyone who's bought the bits and pieces that they have. But if anybody wants to have a look on the, um, the shop for our merch, all of our t-shirts and mugs, I'll put a link in the description. So uh, take a look, have a look, and um, grab yourself a, a mug or an, uh, a t-shirt or a hoodie or whatever you, you like. You see, as well, the hoodie will be doing the build. T-shirts, hats, hats, even as well. Hats as well. Good right? hats. Yeah. Different, different hats on as well. But, uh, mm. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, but thanks very much for everyone who's already picked something up. That's really great. It really helps us out a lot. Really appreciate that. It's uh, fantastic. So uh, anyway, we'll, we'll crack on. Get a bit more done. Right, so I've just put that little new panel that I've made in the back there, and you can see to try and work it in, it's obviously got to follow the line of that um, jam panel. So it sort of has a curve on it there, you can see. And also, the new panel I've made wraps around the bulkhead. So I've slid it in, and what I've done is just marked it down the edge of the, the curve which goes on the, um, the closing panel there. I've marked it in a few places. I'm just going to slice it in those few places so that I can then obviously put the um, the curve on it, it'll sit in then a bit of bring it back and pull it tight to this um, jam panel. Kind of gives you a bit of a look at how that's going to sit in there. Right then, so I've done what I said, I've just nicked all them out where I put them marks in and you can see now how that panel when it slides in by putting them marks and it, it allows us to bend that over now, so I can let that take the shape now of the of the um, jam panel on this side. So you have that curve running down the jam panel, and then obviously you've still got that um, lap on the back, which will weld up against the bulkhead, so we can plug weld that down the back. There you go. I'll sit that in there. Right. So I'll show you how that. In. Also, yeah. see now I can pull that up tight. So just allows it that little bit of give by putting them relief cuts in the back in that back edge. So we'll get that all welded together now. Right then, so I've just dragged it outside just for two minutes because we've had a break in the, the rain. Just to show you, everything just sort of held together, how it's going to look, and then what I'll do is I'll strip it down and then paint all in the back, clean it up, get it all primed, or well, rust-cured first, primed and painted, and then we can get everything back on again and then fully welded in permanently. So that's how it's going to look. It's an all sort of held in place. So what I'll do is I'll strip all that back now, take everything back off, um, and then we'll paint everything back in the back, get it all painted. We'll do that now.
Right then, so I've just masked up the edges of the roof, uh, masking tapes, because obviously I don't want to paint on that. That's where the step will be spot welded um, along the front, along the back of the inner sill. That's why that masking tape's there, just because I don't, I don't want any paint on where it's going to be spot welded. So we'll get that masked up, tape it up, some edge prime on us. Apologies about the wind, but so you've seen we've finished this side of cleaning it up, primering it, um, and then painting it. We'll put rust cure on at the beginning, that was the, the blue stuff that we're painting on, my dad was painting on, um, just to sort of um, prevent the rust or um, convert any rust to what was already there. Um, so, as you've seen, what I've done is I've put a um, coat of uh, gloss black uh, top coat car body paint on it. Obviously, the primer is just porous, so I have to admit, I've got a um, bodywork specialist or a paint there. But Common sense would say, obviously, putting a bit of top coat on top of that um, is going to prevent that from rust because obviously the primer is porous. Um, obviously, epoxy primer would be ideal, but you know we're just working in sort of our own garage at home with um, the sort of basic tools we have. So it will take longer in the setting up to do that. But at the end, we'll be doing the whole body epoxy primer. But um, just a quick look at what we've done. So that sort of um, preserves everything in the back. Now. The reason we're doing that, obviously, painting that is because once the sill goes on and all the outer air panel and that air pillar that you've seen us make you can't get back to any of this so just leaving it in primer wouldn't be good enough so that's why we'll put that extra coat of paint on top as well so that's a quick look anyway so put a bit of Paint on that, so that's great. That's how we're looking right now. Now, what we'll do is once we're finished, um, we'll get all of the, uh, the rest of the car boxy primers. That leaves us, leaves us the edge, so we can now sit the doorstep on there. And we haven't got any paint that we need to be welding through, so I can just put a bit of what you'll see is do now. I'm just going to put a bit of zinc primer on that. Um, so zinc primer because you can weld through that.
Right, there we go, so that's it. All back together. I'm sorry I completely forgot to set the camera away as we were putting the door and everything back on. So you can see the gap down the bottom there is nice now. Don't pay too much attention to that sill that's sitting low, that, that'll pull up. So, quick look at the, the A panel there, A, A pillar there from the inside. There's a little area on the top, you can see which just needs a little bit of extra piece fitted in. But there, that panel on the back welded in there now. A little bit extra to weld in on the top of that also, but we'll get into that once I take the bracing out. But, uh, as you can see, so that's all the A pillar more or less together. Um, door back on. Just a little bit tight there, just a little bit of adjustment on the hinges. Yeah, so happy with that. That's, that's looking good. blown away I think. <laughs> well there we go another good day on the up build. <laughs> Pleased to see another good day in. Yeah another door hug. That's fantastic yeah. I think that's probably going to be it for this one. Though, so I think we've had a very know. good day in. A very wow. good day. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank Keep you. these thumbs going forward. <laughs> There's what we like to say. Yeah plenty thumbs, thumbs up. Yeah. The nice comments you make is absolutely fantastic. Yeah hit that fantastic thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Definitely. Yep. Yeah. Lovely. Thanks. We'll read all them comments and if you've got anything to ask we'll definitely put it in the comments. So We'll, uh, we'll answer away as best we can anyway, or if you want to tell them anything, give, give us some advice, we'll appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, like that yeah. advice as well. All <laughs> taken stuff. in, yeah. all taken in, but I think now we're going to go and get some lunch now. Go and some, get some tea, I'm, uh, I'm happy, <laughs> we'll get some tea, I'm starving. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, then, if you enjoyed it and you haven't subscribed, definitely consider subscribing to the, the channel as well, always appreciate that, that'd be good. But um, I think that's it for this one, so we'll go and get my tea. Okay. Great, take care. Thumbs up.